It's the Sony A7R2, we're at 4K, 30p, XAVCS, 100 megabits a second. And we're using the G Master FE1.485 GM. I've left the clicks in place so that you can hear as we're changing aperture. As you can probably tell, at the moment we're at 1.4. And you can see, lovely bit of bokeh. So, this is going to be a comparison against the Sunny's Ice 55, which is kind of what I compare all the lenses to. So, let's see as we progress through the field. So, here we go. You're looking at 1.4 2 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.6, 5 6.3, 6 7.1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 16, Wow, that's quite a change, isn't it? Let's go through it as quickly as I can. I'm going to turn the click off, see if I can do a really quick. There you go. <laughs> wow, that was a fast change. I'm back again. Let's see as fast as I can. Boom. One more. And there's your 1.4 guys. Bocalicious. As usual, it's been emotional. Here we are now with the Sony Zeiss 5518. Again, this is XAVCS 4K 30p full frame. And this is a bulker test. So at the moment we're at 1.8 now I don't have a dial on the lens for this one like the G Master does so I'm going to have to do it from the camera so here we go f2 Four, four, five, 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 six, six, three, seven, one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. So there you are. 16. I'll try and get down to 1.8 as fast as I can but it won't be as easy as the G Master but nevertheless let's give it a go yeah a lot more difficult than the G Master but still gives you an idea if nothing else and there's your F18 let's go back again And there's your 16. G Master compared to the Zeiss. Now, obviously I haven't looked at the results yet. I've got no doubt that the G Master will probably be better. You just need to ask yourself, is the amount of difference enough to justify the price? Not only the price over this lens, but the price over the Zeiss 85 
which I'll be testing soon. There you go. As usual guys, it's been emotional. <laughs>